Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host, Rob. This video, another Godzilla 2014 topic. This one, we're going to talk about my theory on why I think there's still a chance Godzilla will be rated R. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, before a lot of you go ape shit on the comments, because last time I even brought up the hint of the movie being rated R, people started to lose their nuts. I mean, literally, nuts were just starting to sack on the floor. That's how crazy people got. But look, I am a man of source in terms of if I'm going to make this kind of theory, I'm not going to come in here and not have the shit to back it up, which I do. And. Obviously, when people start to claim things are actual, I'm always the first person to ask, what's your source? In fact, I think that's going to be my slogan going forward is just, what's your source? I'm going to put that in the channel. You know, maybe if uh, if and when I start making t-shirts, because I do plan on doing a whole t-shirt thing like uh, some of the other Godzilla channels at some point, I think that's going to be my slogan. <laughs> what is your fucking source? Well, here are mine. Now, the theory why I think Godzilla still has a chance to be PG, uh, excuse me, rated R. Now, just so you know, this is my theory, okay, based on my observation and based on what, just based on my opinion. I mean, there's no fact. Am I pro am I going to be wrong about this? Of course. <laughs> of course. I always think I'm going to be wrong before I'm going to be right. However, it does not, it does not mean that the topic can't be compelling. So here we go. All right. First case I want to make is Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim had a much larger budget than Godzilla. Godzilla currently has a budget of $160 million. And the budget for Pacific Rim was $190 million. So, uh, <laughs> so there, right there to me, this is my thought process on that. Why does a movie that no one knows about in terms of the kaijus and the jaegers all right you have ildris elba that's great and to be quite honest him he's the only big name to me in that movie i know you have the other main character who still to this day i don't remember his name i only know him as the dude from uh sons of anarchy so one mainstream name monsters that nobody knows about but a genre that's fairly popular uh, and I say fairly popular because it's it's a worldwide thing. And, you know, they, a lot of people tend to be closet case kaiju fans. Now, Godzilla being a household name, and it is a household name, whether or not people like Godzilla, think it's cheesy, can't be whatever, Godzilla is a household name. People know the name. They know the brand. So why would Pacific Rim get more money than Godzilla? Unless, in my opinion, they might be aiming at an R rating for Godzilla and want to kind of compensate for some of the money they think they're going to lose. That's one theory. That's one part of my theory. Theory number two. Considering there's a very good chance that Godzilla is going to do better in the foreign market than they're going to do in the domestic market, I think an R rating outside of the United States is going to catch people's interest more because the United States, we coddle, right? We coddle. We coddle this generation. Oh, Johnny, no. No, no, Johnny. Or, or no, no. You know, we take our kids and we just, you know, oh, we coddle. We coddle. We shy away from R movies. You know, when I was a kid, my father didn't care if I, if I saw an R movie. You know, if there was a lot of cursing, the first thing he'd say is, don't you say that. And if I happen to repeat the movie, he'd just smack me upside the head. Very simple. Or if there was a, a scene where there might be a little nudity or sex and he, you know, hey, cover your eyes. But outside of that, you know, I saw an R, I've, I've seen a number of R-rated movies before I was 13. I graduated with a with a bachelor's and a master's degree. I think I turned out pretty okay. So the fact of the matter is, is that we all know Japanese culture is very out there. I'll give you a prime example. You know, with some of their animation and stuff like that, they're not, they don't shy away from that stuff. So I think a violent Godzilla movie 
is okay for them. I think that would be fine. And I think some other foreign markets would embrace that. The United States is trained almost not to embrace it. But that doesn't mean that Warner Brothers may not see the benefit of it worldwide. So that's another part of my theory. And here's a part of my theory that I think is probably the most compelling evidence as to A, why it may be rated R, and B, for all you people who think it won't be successful at rated R, let's go through my list here. 2004, exhibit number one, 2004, The Passion of the Christ, 370 million domestic dollars, domestic, 370 million domestic dollars. Now, granted, I know that there's a lot of religious people out there, a lot of people believe in God, whether you're Christian, Catholic, whatever the case may be. So obviously, that plays a factor, you know, religious popularity. Uh, worldwide gross for a passion of the Christ. 370 domestic, right? $241 million worldwide for a grand total rated R, very violent movie, $611 million. $611 million, people. Rated, rated R movies, they, they won't succeed. Yeah, okay. So let's go to the next. Let's go to exhibit number two. Exhibit number two. Matrix Reloaded 2003 Domestic. $281 million. Worldwide. $460 million. For a worldwide total rated R. $742 million. Rated R. R. Rated. Matrix. Reloaded. Okay. All right. You want more? Exhibit number three. The Hangover. The Hangover. Okay. Funny movie. Not exactly your summer blockbuster of the year. Okay, funny movie though. I liked it. Okay, domestic, two hundred and seventy-seven million dollars. Foreign. Okay, this is foreign now for a movie that eh, you know not everybody foreign goes to run out and see it. Foreign, one hundred and ninety million dollars for a grand total worldwide. Four hundred and sixty-seven million dollars, people. Okay, I mean, I can go on. I can go on. The evidence is there. No one can sit here and say that a rated R movie can't be successful financially. And on top of that, when you consider Godzilla's budget, is probably around the. Well, I mean, let, let's look at the Matrix. All right, what was the budget for the Matrix? Right, that was our number two on on the evidence list. The Matrix Reloaded. Okay, where's the budget? It's got to be here. Let's see, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. If not, I'll look it up. It's not a big deal. Budget, $150 million. $110 million less than Godzilla. Okay, people? And this was in 2003. So Godzilla already ticket-wise is going to have more value. Plus, they got the 3D factor. So anyone who thinks that if Godzilla was rated... Are and couldn't succeed there's your proof that it can and you want to know something you mean to tell me I mean don't I don't want to even hear anyone say Godzilla cannot beat the matrix I love the matrix I have the trilogy on blu-ray I'm an advocate I'm, I'm one of those advocates that think it should have ended after the first movie but I like the second movie third one was <sighs> but guys honestly Look at the numbers here. The 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 niche for making money on a rated R movie is there. Oh, and by the way, Gareth Edwards Monsters rated R. So before people start, oh, I can't be rated R. Blah blah blah. Make sure you come correct, because I know for a goddamn fact I made a good case. Now, does this mean the movie's gonna be rated R? No, no, it doesn't mean that. But what I'm saying is, if it is A, don't be surprised, and B, if it is rated R, don't be upset. Number one, I think it's going to add more juice to the movie. And number two, I think a lot of people will take it more seriously. 
So, you know, I know they're coming out with the dolls. Hey, look, just because it's rated R doesn't mean they can't have dolls. Didn't the Matrix have dolls? Yes. Wasn't it rated R? Absolutely. So just because they want to market to kids doesn't mean it doesn't have to be rated R. You can still market to kids at rated R. You're just going to be marketing maybe to a, you know, kids go see rated R movies. Let's be real. Not all of them, but believe me, guys, don't. Don't write off the rated R yet. I mean, it's it's got potential to, you know, I mean, there's other rated R movies here I didn't even t touch on uh, that were rated R. <laughs> I mean, let me see here. Look at this. Ted, Beverly Hills Cop, $234 million, and that was in the 80s. I mean, I, I can go on and on. The list goes on and on. Saving Private Ryan, uh, 300, Wedding Crashers, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Gladiator, Pretty Woman, Pretty Fucking Woman. In the 80s or early 90s, whatever, whenever it came out. Uh, the original Matrix, 171, 1999. I mean, it's there, guys. The, 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 the potential and the money is at Terminator 3. I mean, it goes on. It goes on and on. And there's some, a lot of movies here that were rated R and did very well. So Godzilla, if it were to be rated R, point I'm trying to make is don't think if it's rated R, it can't be successful it would succeed. It might even be a lot better than most people think. And um, I still think there's a chance it might be, but obviously the PG-13 is what they're going for. That's probably why they don't have a rating out yet. They're probably doing post-production, going crazy trying to make it rated PG-13, and I think we'll probably get a rated R director's cut realistically. But I just wanted to prove my theory here that uh, if it did turn out to be rated R, uh, it can succeed. Take it easy, guys.